Hi everybody, welcome to Design Notes. I'm Victoria, I'm a registered interior designer and I have the most incredible thing to show you today. So this is not a sponsored video, but I'm just excited because my husband knows that I'm a crafty kind of person and I've always wanted to do beautiful flower bouquets because I honestly feel that if like you can't do anything to your room, even if you can just get like a $4 Aldi budget flowers, it just can make the most incredible difference in your home and make a room look amazing. But I am absolutely horrible with making floral bouquets. I just, I can't do it. Every time I try, it just, I might as well put sticks in a vase because it just looks terrible, really pretty terrible. So he got me the subscription to it's by you and what you get is you get like an amazing hand strewn clay vase and this is like look at this vase it's a very different kind of vase and it's he he told me sorry there's a little water in there he told me it's like a starter vase to making the bouquet and the so this came first to the house this was my valentine's day gift and um i got this first it's beautifully glazed and then I got two bouquets of flowers. This one is my absolute favorite color roses. Orange roses, like they just go with everything. With especially with like the pink undertones. Gosh, it can look great in almost any room. It gives it a punch. And these beautiful pink, more wildflower kind of flowers. So this is what came, and they came after I got the vase. So I got all excited, I got the vase, and then the flowers came the next day. The email to me was directions on how to make this. So I'm supposed to make this and I, you know, like I said, it usually looks like sticks in a vase would be prettier when I try my hand at making a flower bouquet. I am by no means a florist, but I wanted to do a review on this because again, there's really nothing better you can add to a room than fresh flowers. So if I come up with anything even like half as good as this, I will be a happy camper. So we're gonna give this a try. So they said, you know, clean the vase gently with soap and water, did all that, fill it up about halfway, it's filled with water. I got my handy dandy, I wish I could be a gardener shears, and I got, they printed them out, but they came emailed, just like a set of basic directions, and there's three steps, so let's see how it goes. Oh, the other great thing was it told me the names of the flowers, so there's orange roses, which we already knew, uh, Dianthus, which I guess is this little pink flower here, Hypericum berries, forgive me if I'm saying that wrong, oh these are those little green berries, I love those in the case, they're always great, and Matis Moto asters, or Matis Moto asters, and wax flowers, which I think are like these little flowers, I don't know if you can see them over here, so, oh, this was the only thing I thought was kind of stink pots about the bouquet was like this piece came broken. So it was really well packaged, but I, I, it annoys me when you get beautiful flowers and one comes broken, but who knows? It was packaged really nicely. I'll show you the packaging. It came in a triangular box and the bouquets were wrapped separately. And so, yeah, it was really cool. So. Now it says I have to wake my flowers up. Okay, wake up, wake up, it's time to wake up, flowers. Um, they're in a dormant state and they need to be hydrated. It says carefully take flowers out of their wrappings and then hold them under water. Ooh, I'm supposed to hold them under water. All righty, so I'm gonna skip that step because I'm lazy. And then I'm gonna diagonally cut about one inch off the bottom of the stems. Okay, so I'm supposed to do the roses first according to the directions and so we're going to do the roses first and kind of plop them in and around and then fill in with the other and it has even like a ruler on the printouts so that I can measure it and look it's like got like a foam foam bottom okay so you're going to need like the jaws of life to get the flowers out of the wrapping, which 
I get that, you know, it needs to be packaged nice because they're, they're coming from someplace special, but that is not, you know, in the middle of winter uh, like I am here. Uh, but at the same time, I always get discouraged when flowers are so packed and I'm like, oh, do I really want to even throw them in a vase? My forests are so wonderful. But this is fun. I'm really excited. Okay, so on this printout, it has like this handy dandy ruler. And so I'm just going to measure it and I'm going to measure how much I'm supposed to put this. And you know, it's kind of like trim to length. So I'm going to go all eight inches and pull off the leaves and stick it in. Let's see how it goes. We'll keep going with the roses. I'm gonna do it again. And whoops, there goes a rose. This one didn't wanna go into the vase. It's going off to, I don't know, back to the garden or something. All right, so let's see how that one, that one looks a little tall. I think I'm gonna make that a little shorter. And I think the ruler, it's not really telling me how long to cut it, but just, you know, to, I guess, keep them the same size. So I made that second one six inches. I think this is about six inches too. That's the other thing that's hard, to get the flowers the same length is always a challenge for me personally, but I guess having this ruler makes it a little easier. Oh my gosh, I'm just a pile of flowers. Look, this, like if I was Martha Stewart, forget it. It would be all perfectly cut. And definitely not a Martha Stewart here. All right, so I'm doing my flowers, doing my roses. I just thought this was so romantic. I mean, because like anybody can come pick up flowers, but this is, this is great to me. I get to learn a new skill. My daughter, forget about it. She can, she just like instinctively knows how to do this. And I'm always telling her, go open a flower shop when you grow up because she can make wild flowers and that I would think are weeds and she makes them look amazing. I do not have that talent. I don't know where she got it from. Probably my mom, who's a master gardener and I, I'm, I'm just trying not to kill my plants half the time. I can do vegetables. If it's outside and God's watering it, I'm okay inside. Yeah, that's another story. They get forgotten about. So, but, I mean, think about this. Like, you can't, let's say you can't add any paint to a room, or you just don't have time, or, you know, you don't have time to make a room nice. Well, it, it's not too hard to go grab a couple of flowers. You know, flowers at all, these are $4 for a, um, a bunch of roses. I mean, you can't can't be back fat and I'm saying all these because honest to goodness like the whole food flowers I've had terrible experience with them uh, and I really just feel like all these flowers actually last I'm gonna try uh, some of the Matsumoto asters next I'm sorry if I am totally butchering these flower names you know I just like I said Tear design and floral design are completely different. I appreciate good flowers, but do I know their names? No. This is this is exciting though. All right, it says these are direct from our farms in Southern California, and it's drought resistant and is native to East Asia. Anyway, this company is really great. I know that my husband was telling me that they um, give part of their profits, I believe, to charities too. So it's kind of exciting to also be, you know, getting a nice gift that's also helping others. So that's always a plus. And it's really nice, especially in the middle of the winter, if you're in a place like me where there's not a lot of sun to just have a little bit of brightness, a little bit of life, coming into your home and it just gives you that warm lovely sense that like yes spring will spring will eventually come summer will be there you know it won't be dreary and gray for forever because it has been just a rainy winter 
you know, even some snow would be welcome at this point just to just to change it up from gray rain. Okay, so now I'm deciding that I'm gonna use the wax flowers, which are, whoop, whoop, these little green guys. I love these. I see these in like professional bouquets all the time. And there you go. If you look closely at photo shoots in magazines, you will be surprised how many times the design is not actually all that great. What is great is the color they're adding in for from the flowers that's popping the design. So take a note of that when you're looking at something in a magazine and cover up the flowers and say, hey, do I really like that? Now that I'm not seeing, you know, the, the beautiful maroons and the bright greens and the oranges and the pinks, you know, when you cover that up, it gives you a different perspective on the design that you're observing and you, you can see if you really like it uh, because you know the magazines are trying to get your attention right they're using the color of the flowers to draw you in and show you a beautiful photo but you know is the design really fantastic well it's, it's the same as I had a good friend that used to tell me you know <laughs> Just because it looks good on the mannequin in the store doesn't mean it's going to look good in person. It's the same concept, all right? Just because a piece looks good in a magazine, you know, take away the, the frou-frou stuff that the photographer added and see if you really like the design when you're looking at it. Anyway, this is actually, because of this vase, I feel like this is like a miracle vase. It's actually coming out kind of not bad like I mean look at this this is this is starting to look kind of like the picture right I mean not too shabby I think it's coming out okay I mean for me who can't do anything with flowers forget about it I'll take this so this is the trial subscription and I know that they're a new company so you know check them out if you have someone that you love and again this is not a sponsored video it's just something I was excited to share um, you know if, if you have someone you love this could be a fun project for them and it definitely is a way to by adding flowers to turn your house into a home I'm getting really happy with this now they're suggesting that with your extra flowers because I think they figure you know you might make some mistakes and some things are gonna look pretty Ugh, that you you throw them into some other vases so I got some other vases and plenty of rooms that could use a little bit of color right now and I'm gonna say that looks pretty good I think it looks pretty done so let me know what you think um, of this of this flower tutorial that I did I'm really excited about it I mean this is this is definitely hands down the best bouquet I've ever done so uh, a shout out to It's By You. Thank you to my husband, Carl, for this absolutely amazing uh, Valentine's Day gift. And give it a try. And even if you don't have this special vase, don't forget that flowers can really make room. It's like the jewelry in your outfit. Put some flowers in. And even if everything else in your room is hideous, the flowers will give you something beautiful to look at and really be just a focal point in your room where you can look at it and think, wow, not too bad today, not too bad. So and I think that's how I'm gonna end, not too bad for me, and it'll definitely cheer you up. All right, have a great one. If you have any comments, please leave them below. Don't forget to subscribe and look forward to hearing from everybody soon and look out for some more videos. I got lots more coming your way. Thanks so much for joining me on Design Notes.